Sasa where is the opportunity? Why are, why calling to invest in Agro? Moja sasa hivi population yetu ni milioni 62. Tunaenda milioni 80. Hawa watu wote wanahitaji kula. 2022 our production ya, ya our food demand was 13 million metric tons. Our demand 2030 tuna project itafika 20 million metric tons. Kwa hiyo hii table inatuonyesha what do we need to attain. Tunataka fertilizer uptake ya mkulima iongezeke kutoka 19 kg tufike 50 kg. Tunataka value added by 2022 kwenye export yetu ya value added crops mazao ilikuwa ni asilimia kumi, to very minimum. Tunataka at least tufiki 50% of the total portfolio ya agricultural export ili ni value added crops. Import ya sugar tunataka iwe zero, edible oil isizidi 30% na uh, fertilizer na wheat to 50% wheat fertilizer iwe zero. Tunataka to reduce post harvest by 5% na tuweze ku reduce our poverty by 50% to attain food security 150%. But all this need private sector participation. Sasa potential value chain for trade and investment moja kama tunasema ni wheat, two ni edible oil na thanks to the to the, lock, to the small holder farmers mwaka huu tumezalisha mbegu za alizeti mwaka jana tulikuwa na production ya 480,000 metric tons mwaka huu our production imeenda 1.1 million metric tons ya mbegu za alizeti kwa hiyo industries ambazo zilikuwa zinasema kwamba hakuna raw material zimekuwa exhausted kiasi kwamba wakulima wanakosa market so there is a huge potential nataka niongelee sunflower one thing na our direction as a minister of agriculture is tuko tayari turuhusu watu wazalishe sunflower for export sisi hata tukiimport palm oil there is no problem because the sunflower is a premium uh, oil kwenye soko la dunia you get more value when you you export than when you sell it locally kwa hiyo we encourage people to invest in sunflower put your money on edible oil put your money on wheat kwa sababu bado there is a huge potential even locally. Sasa another area ambayo tunajaribu kuomba investment ni kwenye hot culture. Especially kwenye avo. Currently thanks for the support ya private sector na ni acknowledge report iliyofanywa na Tanzania Hot Culture Association. Leo hii Tanzania we are the third largest producer wa avo in Africa. Another area ambayo tuna encourage investment is fertilizer. And our objective is to substitute imports. Sasa hivi tumeanza a comprehensive support ya serikali kwa ajili ya kupima afya ya udongo. Na very soon mtasikia tunapiga marufuku matumizi ya DAP kwenye nchi. Very soon. Why? Because there haiwezekani tuendelee kuwapa wakulima a generic solution. Yaani unapanda DAP ya kupandia kuanzia kuanzia hapo Chalinze mpaka Kagera haiwezekani. Kwa tunaanza tunaanza kupima afya ya udongo, ku define maps. Sasa one of the area ambayo inahitaji kwanza inahitaji uwekezaji ni fertilizer. Sasa this is an area ambayo tunahitaji a lot of investment kwenye fertilizer, land for, for, for agriculture, matumizi ya chokaa kwenye kilimo kwa sababu <coughs> ma, matumizi ya chokaa kwenye kilimo. Another area ni seed ambayo tunahitaji kupunguza import ya seed another area ni pesticides so what we want is kama watawekeza watu viwanda ndani vya blending na mimi namshukuru yuko dada dr nova kesho tunaenda kuzindua kiwanda chake moshi na serikali itanunua dawa zake serikali itanunua dawa zake because the research is done by us The formulation is done by us. Halafu tunaipeleka wapi? China.
chai inaenda kufanya nini? Wana mix blending. So yoyote atakayewekeza blending facility kwenye pesticide ndani ya nchi tutampa a concession ambayo for a specific period of time ili hatuto import hicho kiwatilifu tutakinunua moja kwa moja kutoka kwake watafanya blending done so this is area we want to put more effort another ni irrigation the government is intending to reach 8.5 million hectares tumeanza mwaka jana na mwaka huu na tunatumia local contractors class 1 tunataka local why sisi sasa hivi kwa contractors kwenye miradi ambayo tumeianza nayo zaidi ya 40 97% ni locals we decided to restrict and reduce the foreign companies zinazotoka nje ku take over kazi za ujenzi wa miundombinu ya umwagiliaji another area is mechanization tuna import a lot of tractors thanks to sijui kama angelina yuko thanks to angelina and thanks to uh, wanaitwaje wale wengine na nani john dia yes tumeongea nao na tumewapa assured business as a government will be buying 1000 pieces every year waweke facility ndani ya kufanya nini assembly ya viwanda vya tractors na tunawapa ardhi huyu Mahindra tayari anafanya pale ata, tutazindua mwanzoni mwa mwaka huu pale Kibaha Agricom tutazindua pale Dodoma and we have given them we give them land tunawashua market tunawashua upatikanaji wa ardhi ambao tunawapa eh, Eliza agreement ya miaka 60 kwa ajili ya wao kuwekeza. Na kwa sababu there is no way we can increase productivity if we will not embrace the mechanization. Na serikali tuna establish mechanization centers ambazo mwaka kesho kuto tukimaliza ruzuku ya mbolea tunaenda kwenye ruzuku ya ku support mechanization cost. Na tutataka private sector waanzishe hizo mechanization centers sisi tutaingia nao makubaliano we nunua tractor, nunua combine harvester, nunua equipment zote kakae mbarali tutakwambia kwamba badala ya kumchaji mkulima eka moja shilingi 1600 sisi tutakupa 1000 mchaji 1500 agenda 1030 kilimo ni biashara